Hey everyone, time for an unusual treat. Crocodilio! Get on over here, Crocodilio. What are we going to be having today, little friend? Oh, some flavor ice squeeze candies? That's kind of strange. Where'd you pick those up? Mm hmm. How you been doing, my man? All right. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing good. All right, take it easy. Slithering away. Okay, what do we have to say about the squeeze candy? This is a little odd, isn't it? I think my favorite part of the package is that it says ready to eat. So don't be afraid to eat it after you buy it. Doesn't need to be frozen. Doesn't need to be cooked. I got this for 80 cents, four fruity flavors in every box. And we'll be going in the manufacturer's recommended order, enjoying first some berry punch, then some l'orange, then some grape, then some strawberry. Not too much to mention. I, I do like this color. I like the swirly light blue designs and the bluer bedrock. Pretty good, but I'm really wondering what's in the package. All I've done is given it a little shake. It sounds pretty heavy, like something big is in there. Is it four flavor ices? What could it be? I don't really ever buy flavor ices or any of their competitors. Um, although if I'm offered one, I would eat one. I guess I especially do like the blue ones. All right. There's water included as the third ingredient. I wonder what that's all about. And the gelling agent is a strange one. Looks like it's sodium carboxymethylcellulose. I don't think I've had my daily amount of that yet. And it's distributed by Coco's Confectionery and Novelty. Let's see what we got here. Taped together, taped closed. At least these are nice oval shapes that give like a semblance of professionalism instead of those, I think it was the Disney Princess gummies that just had like nasty yellowing scotch tape. Yeah, and what we do have here is, let me display it for you. That's it, four squeeze candies. Oh my goodness, this is a novelty, Coco's is right. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, I don't know what to think here. I didn't know what I was in for. Um, I did have a chocolate poodle named Coco when I was growing up. I loved him very, very much. Oh, well. As you can see, this is almost liquid. I wonder what it would be like if it was frozen. So, yes, there is plenty of that sodium carboxymethylcellulose in there. I can see. It's pretty high up on the ingredients list. Ooh. All right. Oh, I know. Let's just do some outer space role play. I'm going to imagine I'm in outer space. I'll put on my um, space helmet. All right, Crocodilio in space. So I just saw the second episode of RuPaul's Drag Race, got to meet the second round, round of queens. It's gonna be some stiff competition this year, folks. All right, so, well, there's not much to note except the colors. Um, they're pretty beautiful. I, I'm struck with the, I'm still s s paralyzed by the novelty of it all. All right, berry punch. I'm just holding off because this is, um, I'm a little unsettled by it. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to need somewhere to place my refuse so I don't get my table all sticky with the sticky icky icky this 
smells like a squeeze pop. Or a flavor ice pop. Ooh. Forgive me if I don't dose this entire amount. Mmm, wait a minute. Mmm. <laughs> it's definitely the same flavor. It's in a heavy concentration. And um, at first the flavor note was pretty clean. That was only for, for a split second though. And then that dextrocellulose business started up. Ooh. And it's left my mouth completely coated. I wonder how my body's going to react to this because this is definitely some science lab candy making. I think the flavor that they're using is uh, okay, but it's a little heavy-handed here. Like if it was in solution, actually in water, and it was very, very, very uh, small portion of it, it would probably be pretty agreeable. With a smaller mouthful, it's not quite so bad, but still, that... Um, lingering aftertaste it's hard to describe it it feels like it's like it's edging on sour it's definitely clinical it's got a little bit of a um, uh, like a congealing effect like I feel like if my mouth was cut right now like if I had recently gotten it pierced or something like this would just coat that right up and make everything better Actually, once when I was living in Pittsburgh, I, um, on a whim, my, one of my roommates said, hey, do you want to go get pierced? And I was like, sure. So I got my librette pierced, my libre there, my laboratory piercing. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this treat, so a little behind the scenes action. Usually that would happen behind the scenes, but it's going to be disposed of. Now let's go with L'Orange. Very unusual flavor ice. I can see why it's on clearance though. I don't think the Western palate or any palate would be accustomed to this, unless maybe you were from outer space or something. Smells, I mean, they're using those same flavoring agents definitely because it smells like those iconic ar aromas. Smaller is definitely better when you're taking little tastes of this. I'm going to just brave a big gulp of it. Mmm. Ooh. I mean, I can almost hold it in a ball using my mouth and before it oozes into all, the, all the nooks and crannies. I didn't know what was in store for us, but I'm glad I gave it a try. Mm, definitely doesn't taste like orange. It's like the aroma brings me back to my childhood and little bitty nibbles aren't too disagreeable but it's weird. Alright, grape. Okay, you want to taste this crocodilio? No? I don't blame you. Smells pretty good. Like these aromas are good. Whatever um, smells they're creating. I mean, all the smells are good. I'm gonna have this the tiniest nibble. They at some point somebody in this company said, "Let's branch out. Let's make weird candy." It'll be great. Nobody will know the difference. <laughs> I mean, it is winter, so maybe this is their <laughs> attempt to capture the winter market uh, for people who just can't get enough flavor ice. But I think, like, 
cream eggs and McRibs. They just sort of do deserve their place. Once again, your brave reviewer is going to take a big dose. Mm -hmm. It might be impossible for me to do a blended taste of these, but I don't know. Hmm. The grape somehow wasn't that disagreeable when I had a bunch of it. I think just because of the nature of the flavor of grape. It's already got kind of a busy or a, um, a full mouthfeel. So, rounding it out with strawberry. My lips are covered in like this sticky icky. Oops. That's my props for the uh, one of the next videos. Strawberry. Could probably mix this stuff with vodka. This is pretty light flavor. I can feel it like burning into my teeth. Something's in there. Let's go for it. You d oh, you dare me? All right, I'm gonna get it built up for this. All right, ready? I'm gonna do the whole thing. I'm gonna do well. I need to save a little for the mixed no, now. Now I'm gonna do it all. I'm gonna do it all. Mmm. Mmm. Bam. Mm. It's hard to get through that. It's like it's gone, but it's not gone. Mmm. This isn't food. Ooh. Okay. I said I wouldn't, but I will. I'm going to taste a little bit of each one. Like, all blended. Of the last three. Oof. I'm going to promptly go wash my hands and throw this, throw this stuff away. Okay, ready? I think I probably managed to get a little of each. Mmm. Sample this stuff in moderation, y'all. Woof. This was a tough one to get through. Let's beam, let's get, let's beam back to Earth. Well. Now that we're back to normalcy, now the crocodilio is walking on firm earth again. Uh, how do I feel about this product? Uh, if somebody comes up to your corporation with this truckloads and truckloads of like medicinal grade like waste or some kind of like byproduct that will work as a gelling agent, you know, from the hospital that helps repair people when they have like severe hemorrhaging uh, you should probably just send them on their way and, and not not really just brew up a big batch of your flagship with this gelling agent and then try to market it so I'm uh, not too pleased with flavor ice squeeze candy so this is probably one of the foulest things I've tried